Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's video, we're going to do a quick tutorial to show you how to add larger batteries to the Pi Juice. So hopefully you got a Pi Juice already. Uh, if you haven't, you can go to piesupply.com and purchase one. Um, so the battery that comes supplied with it is only 18, 20 milliamps. Um, so you might be finding that it's not quite long enough or you're not getting as much use out of it as you'd like to. Um, or you, you may want to deploy it in the field somewhere. Uh, you need much more uptime for the Raspberry Pi. Um, so obviously we've got some Pi Juice batteries uh, that you can add to it, some lithium polymer ones. Um, so we've got a 1200 milliamp battery, um, which will last considerably a lot longer. Um, we've also got a 5000 milliamp battery as well. Um, if you go to PySupply.com, uh, you do a search for PyJuice batteries. We've also got some other ones as well, some much lower than 5,000 milliamps. Um, so depending on your power needs for the PyJuice, uh, you can pur purchase and find a battery uh, that you need. Uh, so this in, in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to connect the polymer battery to the PyJuice. Um, so obviously, first of all, you need to make sure you shut down the Raspberry Pi and the Pi Juice itself. Um, make sure you do a soft shutdown, a safe shutdown as well. Uh, so first of all, you need to remove the stock battery. Uh, you can do this by using the little lip on the other side. Um, so the opposite side to where the screw terminals are, uh, there's a little slot there. You can just put your finger on there and just remove the stock battery there. Um, so let's take a look at the 5000 milliamp battery. Let me just open this. So you can connect any single cell lithium or ion battery. I uh, don't want that. Hold up my trusty knife. Um, to the Pi Juice, uh, you need to make sure it is single cell. Um, the reason why we have the screw terminals the other way around is so you can't add both batteries. So you can't add a battery like this and you can't keep the stock battery that comes with it. Uh, so it isn't a design fault it's as such. Um, obviously you can see there the battery is considerably larger than the Pi Juice. Uh, so it won't fit in a case, um, you'll probably have to get a, an enclosure if it's going outside or if it's inside I guess you can, you can just sit it on the side. Um, so this battery itself comes with a connector on, uh, so if you're connecting it to the Pi Juice you will have to cut the connector. Uh, you'll have to strip back the wires um, and then insert them into the screw terminals on the Pi Juice there. Um, so on this battery, we've obviously got the um, ground, um, we've got the plus voltage, and we've also got the NTC wire as well. Um, so it has built-in uh, temperature monitoring, uh, so the Pi Juice can communicate with the battery, it can know what the temperature is, um, it can then regulate the charging of the battery itself. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, let's cut, cut this connector off, strip back the wires and then connect it to the uh, terminals here. So probably best to do this uh, one by one. Um, so start off with the red wire. Safe one. Uh, so just strip back the uh, wires there. If you've got some wire strippers, probably best to use those. So just twist it a bit so they're not frayed. So before we cut the other two cables, um, I'm just going to put a bit of tape over this uh, just to make sure we don't short it out by mistake. Just a bit of a electrical tape or any, any other tape is fine. Just pop that on there. Perfect. Uh, we can cut the other two cables. Let's get rid of that. So again, just twist, twist those cables there. 
And then finally, last one. There we go. Okay, so first let's connect the uh, NTC cable. Um, so all we have to do is just unscrew uh, the, sc the screws in the screw mount here. Uh, so just unscrew it anti-clockwise. I'll do the other ones as well. Uh, so if you see on the PCB there, uh, you can see the pins are actually labelled, uh, so it's pretty straightforward where to connect the cables into the screw terminal. Uh, so this one goes in the second one down. So just push it right in as far as it can go, and then screw it down as far as you can. Make sure it's tight. Just give a, a quick tug on the cable to make sure it doesn't come out. Uh, let's connect now the ground, the black one, which is ground. So that goes in the first pin. So just give a little pull on there, make sure it won't come out. And finally, let's do the, uh, the red cable here, which is plugs into VBAT, so that's the bottom one. So push that in as far as it can go, if I can uh, get it in. So again, just screw that all the way down. And just give a little tug on there. So that's the uh, battery connected. Um, so it's pretty much ready to go. Um, but you do need to set up the battery profile in the Paidu software. Um, so this um, just sets up the charging for the battery. Um, also various other things as well, like the uh, capacity of the battery as well. Um, so when you go to the battery status, it'll give you the correct percentage of battery left on the, uh, on the battery. Um, so that's pretty much it for connecting the battery. Um, obviously you need to make sure it's not left in sort of a, a hot area, a hot enclosure. Uh, make sure it's kind of fairly kept cool and well ventilated. Um, if you're going to dispose of the Pydrus battery, um, make sure you do so correctly. Um, you can go to any recycling centre and they'll recycle these batteries. So once the uh, battery is connected, um, if you want to power it up, you can do so. Um, all you have to do is just push the uh, button switch there. Uh, so just push that once. Uh, as you can see, the green LED is lit up. And if the Pi Juice was connected to a Raspberry Pi, this would now be booting up. Uh, so that's pretty much it for connecting the larger battery to the Pi Juice. Um, just remember it has to be a single cell battery and you also need to make sure you set up the battery profile. They're all pre-selected, pre um, they're all pre-loaded in the Pi Juice software. Um, if you want to purchase a battery, you can go to PySupply.com. Uh, we sell a range of lithium batteries for the Pi Juice. Um, so if you have any questions about the tutorial today, uh, you can either pop them in the comments box below or you can drop us an email or contact us via Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, until next time, I'll see you then.